Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Android Made Easy. Guys, we are back after a long break. Uh, we'll be very active now on this channel, on this YouTube community. Uh, we were a little busy with helping interested folks outside this YouTube community. Uh, anyways, guys, today's topic is very, very important and very interesting. More than interesting, it is very important. It is retrofit in Android Studio. And any Android developer who's working on Android since a lot of years or who's learning newly and some Android people who want to learn Android very freshly so retrofit is a very uh, basic and important topic for them in today's time for Android so guys we saw how to get data from internet how to fetch data from internet using JSON passing and all guys things have changed retrofit is a new culture in Android since last lot of years now and if we don't know retrofit uh, we are not meeting the industry standards now so retrofit is just like a network library for getting and fetching and posting data from a web service so let's not waste more time guys and let's get started with retrofit now so guys uh, first let's understand what is retrofit exactly uh, before jumping in too deep with retrofit and android studio so guys, Retrofit is just a normal networking library. When I say networking library, guys, it means uh, when we, how do we uh, get the data from the internet? We upload our data. So for it's a normal networking transaction library from for fetching and posting data to a web URL. It's a very easy and a fast library to get the JSON responses from a web service. So now a question arises. Uh, previously, also we have seen uh, a ways to uh, fetch data from an URL, uh, fetch data from a web service or post the data. But why retrofit? What is unique in it? So guys, in, a, in our previous video of this channel, we saw a video where we had uh, JSON passing in our Android studio. We just saw how to fetch uh, the data from an internet. Uh, there was a web URL of a restaurant and we were trying to uh, fetch a dummy data from there. So guys, difference between retrofit and the normal JSON passing is that uh, retrofit helps you to help the developer to take the headache away from uh, uh, passing the JSON response coming from an internet. So what does Retrofit exactly do is it just converts a JSON response coming from a web service internally with the help of a library called JSON library and helps us to convert that uh, uh, JSON data into a uh, model class object data. Now it depends upon us how do we interpret those model class object into a list view or a recycler view or a kind of a normal text view appending in the text view in our Android Studio. So in short, Retrofit helps us to uh, avoid the boilerplate code. It also helps us to avoid the shortcomings of a HTTP URL connection class in our Android Studio where we were using, where we were writing a long piece of code for passing the JSON data uh, coming uh, from the uh, web URL and then putting in a JSON array, JSON object and then displaying in a custom adapter. Your retrofit helps you just convert that JSON data internally with the help of JSON library. So it's a faster way to uh, overcome the problems of this. So let's jump in retrofit now. So for jumping in between, we need to understand the simple concept, guys. So here is a very simple concept explained in just 30 seconds. So you have a web URL here. You have some small piece of data here. It can be any kind of a shopping site where you have your uh, login details of a customer or you have your product details here, their photos, their uh, price details and anything. Now, you have already you already have a JSON data with you. So we have a JSON data, dummy JSON data with us. Here is our JSON data, okay? So we already have a JSON data with us. As I explained earlier, Retrofit library, what it does, it converts this JSON data into a model class object. Now this is the main work that we wanna see. How is this conversion taking place? Conversion of a JSON data, a uh, JSON response coming from a web URL into a normal model class object. Now this model class object will be in an Android app on the client side. So main work of Retrofit library is connecting the JSON response to the Android app without uh, the uh, and taking the burden of passing that JSON response into a model class object with the help of its JSON library. So we'll be following these four basic steps today, guys, to uh, attain this on our Android. So how to get data. We are today fetching our data from a web URL in our Android project with the help of Retrofit library today. So these are the four steps that we are going to follow today. So guys, the first step will be a basic step when you open your Android Studio. 
uh, just make a normal new project. I've given the name as a retrofit tutorial for you guys. So first step will be adding some dependencies here. So there will be two dependencies we'll be adding. So before that guys, we'll be following the steps in the notepad file for an easier layout of uh, what are we going to cover today. So first step is we're adding two dependencies for retrofit library. One of them is for using the retrofit and second of them is for converting the JSON data into a, a model class object with the help of a JSON library. So two dependencies, the link of these dependencies I've given in the description as well. So these are the dependencies which we add here. After adding these two dependencies, just synchronize your project once. And when Cradle build is done, it's successful, we'll move forward. Uh, after that, we'll just go to manifest file and add a permission for internet and uh, Wi-Fi so that we can fetch the data from the web service. As simple as that. So basic steps have been done. Now we'll be following some of the guidelines that we I showed you in the starting. So first step will be uh, we'll be creating a retrofit object. So second step is we'll be converting this JSON data coming from the web URL to a model class object. So before this, there should be a model class in the Android Studio. So that uh, because if there's a model class, we'll be converting that data to a type of that model class. So first of all, just create a model class in your Android Studio. So I've made a model class here, just normal new Java class here. And here is it, my model class. So URL also have been, uh, the web URL also have placed in the description here. So this is a dummy JSON file coming from here. This is our URL. So if you see, we have four things here, a user ID, an ID, a title, and a body. So these four things, as I said, uh, Retrofish is passing the JSON data into a model class object. So we'll be creating these four fields in our model class now. So once we are done creating this, our normal constructors and getter and setters for accessing them on a main activity file. So we are done with this, the first step. Now second step is now, before jumping onto this thing, before jumping to these four uh, basic things, we'll do one more thing is that we are making a new interface, okay? Now, why I'm making an interface here is that I'm making an interface here. We know interface is nothing which has a plain body. Uh, it has no, no, no body, but just a method declaration inside it. So I'm declaring a method which is just to use to return to a return a model uh, retrofit class object, okay? So an interface I've been created called my API. Be careful, don't create a class here. So create an uh, interface here when you go here. So instead of a new class, uh, just create an interface when you create uh, uh, your uh, new things. So here inside my API, I've created an interface and I've named it called my API. Now the first step I've done is just, I've declared a method, okay, called get models of return type call of a list of simple type model. So this I've been, this we'll be using in our retro main activity when we'll be moving forward. Uh, so that uh, the retrofit knows uh, to what uh, to convert JSON data should be converted to what type. Okay. So this is I've created an interface here. So obtain body, nothing in it. That's a method declaration. Now we'll be following these steps, guys. So first step is create a retrofit object. So where we go, we go to our main activity and step one. Okay. Again, sorry. Before this, uh, let's uh, just make a normal layout file. So go to your main activities XML file, just the scroll view and the text you have added. Just convert this into a linear layout instead of a constraint layout if you have there. And just a normal scroll view so that we can keep on see, getting the data, scroll the data coming from the web URL, uh, dynamic list. Uh, just a match parent scroll view and a dummy uh, text view, which shows color and uh, specifications you can give it to yourself. I've given a black color, text size is a 20 SP. And ID I've given it and the text I've given it text coming from the URL. So this will be changing dynamically when it is coming from the web URL. So our normal scroll will be in the text view and we try to find the ID of this text view on our main activity first. So I've declared this text view here and here I find the ID, find view by ID and I've text and I've set this text as blank. So now we need, we have nothing in it. So we'll be getting this dynamic text from the web URL with the help of retrofit. So now we can begin with it. The so first step is we'll be creating a retrofit object. So here is the first step. Retrofit retrofit is equal to new retrofit dot builder dot base URL. Now in, inside this you have to pass the 
so inside this uh, parameter you have to pass the url so our url will be guys still here till dot com okay and this post will be concatenating in our interface class or uh, interface so just uh, copy this url till this last sign and just declare a string variable in our main activity i have declared a string variable named data url and i have placed this url now just pass this url inside this base url parameter just taking inside it so this is the and dot add converter factory json converter factory dot create dot build so first step of our uh, basic step of retrofit uh, principle is done we have made and declared a retrofit object now and we've passed this url here so it will get that uh, json response and it will try to convert it into a model class object in our second step and we'll tell them what to do so in our second step if you go to here second step is converting this json data that we got from the web url into a model class object so now uh, create an object of this interface my api so retrofit dot create my api dot class now by this line we are telling this retrofit uh, object is that we want to convert the json data that is coming from this data url we just showed you to a type of uh, to a type of interface my api so now what does it does it converts this json data into a type of my api now inside my api what do we want it we want to concatenate this url till dot com to a uh, web page that is coming from post our main json data is inside this web page post so just and we're just getting the data so we're using an annotation get at the rate get and post so what it does now this line after writing this line it will concatenate our url with the post and will try to convert this into json data into a type model class object now third step was create a call of model class so we just created a call of type model class call of type list now list is in again in of type model uh, we've named it call with small c my api dot get models so now we are trying to access this method declare that we have declared here so we'll access this method on our main activity we have declared we have made a call of model class now the last step was to receive the response and process the data so call dot nq new callback if you open this it will give you two override methods either on response and either on failure on response and on failure so inside the on response uh it is our wish how to get that data and show the data for time being i have just kept a normal text view and append all the data in a text view because the main focus is of this video is how does retrofit works and not the uh, main focus is not on how to show it in a list view or a recycler view that is the second topic which we will be covering some other day so list of type model i have given it a name data so response dot body so we trying to get the entire response coming from that data coming from the url and if this response is not null so you start a for loop there are some data inside that from that url and we just append in a text view data dot get the position i dot get id dot title again you can go for a body and everything i have just got for time being as a id and title and append it in a text view and that's it as simple as that so we did four steps we made a retrofit object here after retrofit object we converted into a json type uh, json data into a model class object third step in the class uh, we made an uh, call of model class uh, my uh, my api dot get via my api dot get models interface and third fourth we received the response and appended the data on the text view as simple as that now we'll see how does it work on our uh, emulator the scrollable uh, which is appended in a text view the user id and the title you can add yourself the body as well so a normal retrofit we are fetching the data from the internet